Ahsoka should have been a movie and I have proof. I'm just kidding. I don't have proof, but I do have an opinion. Hello, everybody. I am Kai Patterson. I am the editor of Obi-Wan Kenobi, The Patterson Cut. And with the success of turning the Obi-Wan show into a movie, and a lot of people loved it. I got a lot of awesome feedback from the community, and I just really loved that whole experience. Last time when I announced the Obi-Wan edit, I had already finished it, but I've had a lot of people asking me if I'm going to do the same thing with Ahsoka. I have done it with Obi-Wan, teamed up with Pentex Production, and I I did a two-part movie for the Boba Fett series. I think Ahsoka deserves another movie. Not necessarily because I had like tons of problems with it, but I think it's fun to watch content that you love kind of in a new way. So I will be re-editing Ahsoka into a movie. I really don't have many details because I'm still in the very early stages of editing it. There have been a couple things uh, that I have been testing out. Also, spoiler alert for Ahsoka, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about some of the things that happen. So I've been doing some tests and I think I might do a section during their interaction in the world between worlds as this kind of like dreamy Mustafar sequence. So uh, here's some footage of what I've been testing out. Still very, very early days. This is something that's been really bothering me about Star Wars lately is like how lightsabers aren't really lethal anymore. We had Sabine get punctured by a lightsaber in this. And I know there's been a lot of talk about why it was okay that she survived it and, and you know, where exactly she was stabbed and everything. But to me, Another thing that makes Star Wars Star Wars is taking people's limbs off. Um, so I, I've actually been toying with the idea of uh, getting rid of one of her arms. I mean, this is after Return of the Jedi, so we already know that they have technology in the Star Wars universe that, you know, you can put your arm back on and have skin over it and everything and looks very real. So she's gonna have an arm throughout the movie. Uh, I just want Shin to have cut it off during their battle instead of stabbing her. So this is, again, this is very early visual effects. Uh, so this is what I've got for that so far. All this visual effects that I'm showing you will be a lot better by the time I release this. And talking about releasing, I truly do not have a timeline for the Ahsoka movie. But again, I'm just addressing, there's just been so many people asking me and I wanted to say yes I am doing an Ahsoka edit I will be working on it but for this time around I was thinking about maybe doing a patreon and if you wanted to follow along with the edits that I'm making and, and some of the decisions that I'm making. I know some people have been requesting that, so let me know if you think I should start that. I usually just kind of edit by myself, but I wouldn't mind having some company. Ultimately, I am and I always do make these fan edits. I do them for myself as a viewer. I wanna, I wanna make something that I wanna watch. I know that already there are some things that I've been editing out that, you know, kind of suffer from the same thing that Obi-Wan had where there's just like really, really long sequences that can definitely be cut down. But obviously for a show, it's like, that's cool. Like I'm down to really hone in and watch a show. But when I'm re-editing it into a movie, you know, you gotta move things along. You, you have to get the, the plot going, which I will be doing in my movie version. So all that being said, let me know if there's anything in the Ahsoka series that you want to be different in the movie version. I can't guarantee that I'm gonna use it, but I will definitely read all of the comments and and check them out and see what you guys have to say let me know if you want me to do a patreon and kind of follow along with the editing that i do and you know kind of my process because if nobody wants to do that then i won't waste my time but if if a lot of people are excited to see that stuff, I'm down to uh, set up all of that and uh, bring you guys along with me on the journey. Just some personal stuff that I need to do before I really fully invest in uh, Ahsoka is I have a short film that I'm finishing that I wrote and directed. That should be coming out soon. We have the premiere Monday, October 23rd. If you're in LA, go to my Instagram and you can see the details if you want to if you want to come by, it's free, you know, snacks and food. So if you wanted to show up, just RSVP, just go to my Instagram. There's a link in my bio if you want to attend that. At some point in the future, I'm also planning a, a Star Wars short film. I think that'll probably be coming up after I do the Ahsoka movie. It's kind of, I don't know if I want to... All right, all right, I'll say it, I'll say it. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a short film about General Grievous and kind of the first, whether it's clones and Jedi or just Jedi, but um, basically my inspiration was the uh, micro series of Clone Wars where 
uh, we first are introduced to General Grievous and he's terrifying. I kind of wanted to do a short film like that. General Grievous hunting down Jedi and clones and is actually terrifying. But again, getting ahead of myself, that's like a future project. Uh, let me know if that's even something you'd want me to do. Um, but that's something that sounds pretty fun to me. Yeah, you can find all the fan edits that I do on my website, kaipatersonfilms.com slash fan edits. You can see Obi-Wan and the Boba Fett movies and I'm starting up on Ahsoka, so. I'm really excited to do all this and I'm excited to uh, share the journey with you guys. If you love the stuff that I do, the best way to support me is to follow me on the various platforms, whether it's Instagram, threads, Twitter, Discord, whatever. Follow me on all of my different social medias. You can find them all on my website. So go check those out. Also, an another great way to support me is to watch some of the short films that I've done in the past. I'm really proud of them. Uh, I, I don't just do Star Wars. I know a lot of people, when they see me, they just think he's he's the Star Wars guy. He's the he's the fan editor. But I, I am a writer, director, you know, filmmaker. So I, I do a lot of other projects and you can find all those on my website. Again, I'm very excited about my newest short film coming out. It's called The Caligo Cuckoo. It's a Twilight Zone inspired cautionary tale about the dangers of seeing yourself in somebody else's shoes. Go ahead and subscribe, follow me, you know, TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about everything. The Soka movie, what you want to change, your thoughts on a potential Grievous short film. Just let me know. Thank you guys. I can't wait to share more.